Hey there, Darren Campbell with Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor, builder remodeler in North Carolina. Um, actually, let me turn the camera over here, get away from that mower. Uh, we're getting we're getting ready to overseed our yard right here, so Harley's getting at it. Um, I wanted to address uh, boring a hole through concrete block. I already did a video a while back. Um, we were on a job. We need to pop a. Uh, it was actually for a laser printer. We, we put a four inch or four and a half inch hole through the block. But some people are asking some questions and I actually have an improved version. Plus, I use the SD, SDS Plus uh, rotary hammer and people freaked out about it. People, well, that's we've been using that. However, the, the main reason why we started using that is because we were trying to simplify the simplify our work vehicle we're trying to get rid of multiple tools on that uh the, the truck in the trailer so we went down to just our rotary hammers however we have added a dewalt mixing drill big old flex volt and that guy i believe has the power we've drilled some smaller ones so you're going to see it firsthand uh whether or not this new dewalt flex volt we've had it for probably about a year now but we've not used it for any boring of uh, the um, core bits so you're gonna see firsthand now I'm gonna try a different technique I showed in that first video I showed up uh, um, laying it out on a piece of plywood and doing all that I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna set it up a little bit different so hopefully you guys enjoy and uh, we both learn together let's do it I got to get a work table set up let me show you what we're messing with Lift with your back. Okay. okay, don't lift with your back. Ignore what I said. Yeah. All right, so what we have here is a four inch solid block. You got mortar here, so it's on level. So you're gonna really see as to what I've come up here, why it's going to work pretty good. Um, yeah, the block is going to have to be relatively uh, um square for to do what i'm doing one side will have to be because you're going to have to measure down here and here but we're going to get a measurement from both sides now you don't have to do this but on a thicker wall let's say it's eight to ten inches uh, a lot of people were worried about you know how how to get it and plus they're worried about chip out on the inside well i think i figured out how to do that so we're going to address that right off i think i want to do two holes here I think we're gonna do a small hole over here and then we're gonna do a four inch there. So let's come let's come three inches in and I wanna come down and hit some of this gnarly stuff. To, to really show you is how the big advantage to what I'm uh, talking about doing with with this. Yeah, let's go six inches here. And we'll just come up, uh, well, let me see. So we did three and six there. Uh, let's do 11 inches. What do we do over here? We'll do four and a half. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the other side and mark exactly the same. All right, so the reason why I showed you to do it this way is let's say you're in a basement. Now, you could just bore from one side and just have at it, you know, and bust out the other side or and most likely when you're boring through it's going to take a big chunk out of the inside or let's say you're not sure if you're coming in at a the correct angle or there, there's multiple different reasons if you can identify what block you are and measure you're going to get a pretty pretty good straight through uh cut or you know so that's why i'm showing you this here you don't have to mark both sides but i'm giving you an alternative to where both sides of the block are visible and get yourself a good good, good clean cut 
All right, so actually I got a two and a half inch Corbett. Um, brand new, man, this one's still in the plastic. And it was just there. I know we have other ones. What is this size? Four and a quarter. So use the four and a quarter for the one that's towards the block. Cause oh, yeah, because this one needs to be up a little bit. And then we'll use this two and a half for on over. Um, these are pretty good sizes right here because, uh, you know, you need a little bit of movement for, um, running two inch pipe and I would never try to run a four inch pipe through four inch hole. A little bit of give. Get off me. All right. So this guy measures, you know, what does it measure? See, we need inside four inches. So hopefully you saw that four inches. So I'm going to use your protractor. Oh, I'm not sure. I think that's, or is that a compass? Uh, no, I should know. Half of that is two inches. Now the easiest thing would do is if you had a hole saw. We do have them, but I don't use four inch. So I have three and a half, four and a quarter, four and a half of everything except for that. So half a four inch is uh, two inches. I'm not doing that for the other one. This one measures, what does it measure? Just under two and an eighth. So, I was able to get this hole saw here. Two and a sixteenth, that one's close enough there for that one. Alrighty. So that means I can pop that one through just with a standard drill. Arbor, all that good jazz. Then I'll have to do this one with a, um, um, oh, make sure, do not mess up your, your center hole right there. And actually I'm going to do this right here. You'll find out that that will end up being somewhat important. So, so will this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drill that through right now. I'm just using the drill bit from um, the, the arbor of this hole saw. Make sure I'm not drilling through my... Hopefully that ain't... Oh, let's not do that. that up a little bit with sandpaper and I got a clean uh, um, plug get this one cut out with the jigsaw all right so this is what I'm gonna do here I'm going to put a hole in here. Okay, so this is how this is going to go in here. So don't get carried about way. This does not have to be too tight. Oh, come on. Would you believe that? I got myself a dead battery. That's good. All right, so now we actually have a something to hold us. Let's go over to the other side. Let 
Now, since this is only four inch, I'm gonna take that plug back out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take that plug back out and I'll show you why. I'm coming over to this other side. Well, it makes sense here in a minute. I think it's starting to come here now. I think my hole hit the other side, but that, that doesn't matter that much. All right, let's go back over to the other side. All right, so we're gonna put this back in. I'm gonna get this set up in the drill. This uh, two and a half inch um, Corvette. So I picked this up, this adapter, it's made by Drylax. Drylax, and you know we've used the the SDS Plus. Oh come on, look at that! But these all take a five eighths thread. Um, what this will allow me to do is to mount it in this guy right here. No, because it should be going in the same direction. All right, so here's my thoughts. I'm going to come in here, halfway in here like this. And take this off and come over to the other side pause it for a second guys you wouldn't ha have the problem that I'm having right now well, I, you don't have to go you don't have to show going through the entire way I think you got your point across that you can use that little thing to use it because once you've gone about a half inch in you're yeah, it's a home run there on it's it, it's yeah. perfectly centered on this side and it's perfectly centered on this side and not only that um, it's exactly where you want it yep. and let's say it does and let's say you do end up off a little bit this has cutters here on the side, so you'll be able to put it in there and rock it up and down to line it. Um, this drill right here, this DeWalt, uh, I'm going to run it here on the big guy right here. It, this has more than enough power for this here. So we actually don't need the SDS uh, for running this one. We're going to see if this um, big uh, mixing drill um, can run the 4 inch. but. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and run that hole through. Maybe I'll come through the other side, but I'll probably bore in like another inch right here and then come in, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll do the same. Two inches on this side, two inches on the other side. I want to actually do it. Uh, and I'll, I'll bring you back. Okay, so let me show you the hole. No tear out, zero tear out there. So I'm telling you, I think we got something good here. I think this is gonna work. So we're gonna step it up to the four inch. That drill is handling it like a pro. Um, I mean, make sure you got a big handle. I don't know about this four and a quarter inch uh, a bit, but this whole idea of making a plug and using a tap con and then coming in both sides and drilling in both sides is yeah it's pretty it's right on it's uh really good 
Another thing too, you know, this is one thing I really like about this. Let's say you have to have a pipe that's angled. I mean, you could totally do this with this. You just measure up, you say, hey, I wanna be a uh, half inch higher on this side of the block. You just mount it there. And now, of course, you're just gonna have to tip it down to where you think you're going to be meeting, but I'm telling you, this is gold right here. This is golden. All right, let's step it up to this four and a quarter. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna break my arms on this one, but that's what's so nice about the rotary hammer with the SDS. And mind you, if you've not seen that one, go back and watch it. Other people are like, you cannot use the uh, uh, Corbett's with SDS. Been doing it, done it. So, but I'm gonna try the same setup with my, this awesome Dewalt. I mean, I really should receive like a Nobel Peace Prize or whatever, something. I mean, for what some of the clowns that get them for, this is better. I mean, people actually being able to establish a hole through a block. Yeah, by the way, I thought this was solid block, it's not. Look at that. I'm wrong. These are, it's a brick or something. There's a mortar joint. Oh well, whatever. Well, I guess I didn't look real well. All right, here we go. All right, that's it. I gotta protect the camera. <laughs> that's a lot of dust. Sorry. I borrow a bore ways over, then I'll switch this plug over to the other side. You see, I'm rocking it a little bit. If you don't, this plug in here will get so tight inside you'll barely be able to get this uh, core bit in and out. So you're gonna have to work it back and forth a little bit, um, or you will set yourself up for something not good. I'm actually putting my arm over here to make sure that if this does kick, I'll be able to um, stop it and protect my wrist. Ah, I forgot. Can't be that close to the camera. If you think you signed up for something easy, this ain't it.
See we have zero chip off breaking there. The same over here. Zero chip off, zero there. So I would consider that a win. Um, so you need, this is what you need. A piece of plywood, uh, I think a Tapcon. I mean, you, you technically could drill a small hole and just push a, a nail in, like a 16D, into that hole, just to hold this. All it is a pilot, and just pull it back out. Um, but you need a piece of plywood, um, probably one of these guys. Um, you know, hammer drill, rotary hammer. If you're using a tap gun, you're gonna need a impact. Uh, and then whatever, your core bits and your your drill or use a SDS like what I did in the others but um, this is fun I, I just taught myself a better way of doing it and plus you know to get clean holes on both sides so yes sirree done wish I would add something better to demonstrate it on I've been putting this off I've been putting this demonstration off for a little while because uh, I kept waiting for a job that we needed to do it on. And you watch, as soon as I make this video, we'll have half a dozen jobs that call for it. But right now, nothing. So <laughs> that's the way it goes. Uh, I do have for something larger than like a four and a quarter, five inch uh, Corbett, um, I'm going to do a demonstration, but I need to get a large enough block or concrete um slab or something to show how to punch that out um so another another i have no idea where this came from even it's got a little tie down it's not mine it just came off a neighbor's property so this is um actually it's even further away i'm good friends with them so so all right see ya